when I look back at my life I see all the events good or not so good that have happened in my life as pieces of a chain that were connected together to take me to where I am right now if one of those pieces were missing I would not be at this stage in my life I call some of these events the turning points of my life and definitely writing leadership soup is one of those turning points I was born and raised in a small city in Iran although I was assigned some leadership roles during my time at school and I was fairly good at them I was not into leadership at that time in fact I was very shy and could not speak up in a crowd I was more into studying hard and getting good marks this guided me to get a bachelor of science and later master of science in chemical engineering when I was doing my PhD later I had a chance to go to Canada to spend one year as a research assistant at the University of Calgary in order to perform the experimental part of my PhD thesis going to Canada for the first time was the biggest turning point in my life I felt I was on a mission I felt I needed to stay in Canada in order to accomplish something big however I had no clue what that big thing was maybe my purpose in life after one year of living in Canada I had to go back to Iran to finish my PhD I went back defended my thesis got married to my beautiful and lovely wife Shore and came back to Canada in 2002 for two years I worked as a research associate at the University of Calgary during those two years as various graduate students joined our research group I mentored them on laboratory procedures equipment operation and data processing uh, and interpretation I also became a laboratory instructor for one of the department's undergraduate courses it was during this time that I realized my passion for teaching and for transferring knowledge to others in a simple understandable language I found that I loved to share what I knew with others in 2004 I started my first job in the Canadian oil and gas industry for one year I commuted approximately 300 kilometers every week between Calgary and Edmonton in order to use my time in the car wisely I started listening to audiobooks and trainings on personal development leadership and spirituality I was exposed a lot of knowledge and became interested in learning more about these great subjects since I was open to learning new things and willing to share what I learned with others I became more aware of what was going on around me I started to observe people and their interactions with one another and the more I observed the more I learned and the more I learned the better I understood my interest in spirituality led me to meditation through meditation I could connect with my true self and the higher power that I call God the more I connected with my true self the more I discovered about myself later my dear wife introduced me to a great meditation center called Brahma Kumari's World Spiritual University through Raja Yuga practice at the Brahma Kumari's meditation center I was exposed to pure knowledge coming directly from God the source of all wisdom I was blessed with God's hands on my head I had many of many questions answers answer and I learned more about myself and why I'm here on earth the more I learned about myself the more I became interested in learning about others at work 
an outsider world. I noticed that many of us want to control everything and everyone around us. And in order to do that, we start to put more and more rules, policies and procedures in place. We create boundaries and in doing so we limit our growth and the growth of our fellow human beings. What happens? Consequently, we distance ourselves from our human nature. That is being like God, infinite with no boundaries. This understanding was the seed from which my leadership journey began. In 2005, I joined a big oil and gas service company. I started as a research scientist and project engineer. Later, I became a project manager and then a research program leader. During these years, I realized that all positions and titles are just labels. I noticed that those who care more about their labels than they do about people will not be remembered by people when they lose their labels. In contrast, those who care more about people than labels and respect people for who they are and recognize them for what they do will be respected, trusted and remembered by people all the time. That is part of my leadership philosophy that I've been practicing all these years and I know that it works. In 2006, I had another great turning point in my life when I became a member of Toastmasters International. Again, I, it was recommended to me by Shoren, my wonderful wife. My purpose was to enhance my communication and leadership skills outside of my workplace. I wanted to learn more by doing more and not just by reading more. Since day one, I became very engaged in the club activities and took various leadership roles. I became sec secretary of the club and then president, creating a motivating vision for the club and becoming a role model for club members. Then, by the end of the year, we became a president's distinguished club by achieving 9 out of 10 objectives set by Toastmasters International. During that one year, I put my leadership philosophy to the test and achieved success. I believe that a leader cannot succeed, I, cannot succeed without purpose, passion and people. And if you can link purpose, passion and people together, you can fulfill your vision and achieve success easily. My success as the president of the club empowered me to take a bigger role and become an area governor in 2009. As area governor, I oversaw several clubs. I applied the same formula and achieved success again. I led with purpose, lived with passion, and connected with people and empowered them. And in the end, we became a select distinguished area as we had planned at the beginning of the year. I realized that communicating the vision regularly and encouraging people continuously to take action toward meeting the objectives are both of great importance. I also noticed that Connecting directly with the members of different clubs would inspire them to support their leaders in meeting the objectives, fulfilling the vision, and achieving success. The lessons that I learned by taking these leadership roles helped me a great deal in becoming successful in my job as well. When I became a research program leader at my workplace, I started to work with purpose and apply my leadership philosophy more, linking my personal interests to the vision of the company helped me stay more energized and passionate. 
It also helped me connect with my team members much better and help them do the best they could do by having the picture in mind and working toward developing their potential at work. I was trusted and supported all the time by team members and that was a great success for me. My job satisfaction level increased and my relationship with those around me was enhanced. But still, something was missing inside me. I felt that I was not truly happy inside. I felt that I was not living and leading on purpose. I knew what I was supposed to do, but I was delaying it all the time. I thought I was not ready yet for growth. But in fact, I was standing in my own way. In May 2009, I attended a one-day leadership webcast by Maximum Impact. During that one-day seminar, several great speakers talked about leadership and success, including John Maxwell, Liz Murray, and Mark Sandberg. Maxwell talked about his new book, Put Your Dreams to the Test. That day, John Maxwell and Liz Moore inspired me to not only delay, to not my delay, to not delay my dreams any longer. They inspired me to own my dreams and take immediate action toward achieving them. And that was the fuel for starting something new and taking massive action toward fulfilling my purpose. My desire for adding value to people and helping them grow and achieve their dreams and visions motivated me and my wife to found Dream Achievers Academy in December 2009. Our vision is to passionately add value to people around the world and inspire them to live on purpose and lead on purpose. And our mission is to simply serve humanity and the divine. As soon as we started the business, we were exposed to all kinds of mentorship by best-selling authors and experts such as Robin Sharma, Janet and Chris Atwood, Marsha Weaver, Brendan Burchard, and Harbaker. I began to notice that the more I give, the more I receive in return, and the more I grow as a result. In November 2009, before we officially established Dream Achievers Academy, I was selected as one of the speakers at the at the Toastmasters District Fall Conference. I decided to talk about my leadership philosophy and create a framework and formula for my speech. It was then that I came up with the leadership soup formula. When I delivered my speech in front of more than 50 people from two Canadian provinces, I was so impressed with their keen interest and positive response. After that speech, several people approached me and encouraged me to write about my ideas. That became the seed for writing my leadership soup book. I started writing the first chapter in April 2010 I, and completed the draft manuscript in April 2011. Every day, early in the morning, before going to work, I would write for one hour or so. Many times I felt that I was, it was not me writing, but a higher power that was using me as an, an instrument to write what needed to be written. Many portions of the book were kind of challenged through me, especially the chapters on faith, hope, empowerment and inspiration. I'm so blessed with my life. Every minute I can count my blessings. Every minute I can see a great future in front of me. Every minute I can visualize how the principles, tools and knowledge shared in the book can inspire people to become more authentic 
leaders and enhance their leadership skills leading the way to productivity profit and prosperity by linking purpose passion and people together and every minute I can see myself living my passion and fulfilling my vision now I know that I'm living on purpose and leading on purpose I believe that people if led properly can create miracles for their organizations I believe that if we can put our focus on people and help them grow they will help us grow and become rich in all areas of life I believe in you and your leadership capabilities I believe that if you implement the knowledge shared in this book it will guarantee your success wherever you are and in whatever you do if you want to truly live on purpose and lead on purpose and leave a legacy for future generations I recommend investing in this book.